Why I'm statistically moving on from Tremaine Edmonds, and statistically, we're taking a look at overall tackles, we're taking a look at interceptions, pass deflections, sacks, we're taking a look at stuffs and stuffed yards, the ultimate playmaking ability of that linebacker, and Tremaine Edmonds was actually his best his rookie year. So in this video, I'm going to reveal to you more than five reasons why the Buffalo Bills would be considering statistically moving on from Tremaine Edmonds. Edmonds. And I think you're going to get some very intriguing insight in this video. And really the first reason is because of the money that he's probably going to get hitting free agency. Tremaine Edmonds is said to be making a lot of money. Even if we were to franchise tag Tremaine Edmonds, that's around $20 million. I know the discussion is there a transition tag, which makes a lot of sense to me, is that we could transition tag him, allow other teams to make offers, and we can match that offer. What that does for the Buffalo Bills is it allows us to determine the fair market value for Tremaine Edmonds. And really, I don't think Brandon Bean, I don't think anyone knows, even Tremaine Edmonds, no one knows the fair market value for him right now. And the main reason why is because his play statistically has really dropped every single year since his rookie year other than this past season. We saw Tremaine Edmonds step up. We were all bickering before the season even started that we needed to see more from Tremaine Edmonds, but did he do enough to get the high salary that he's likely going to get in free agency? The reason why he's going to get such a high price in free agency is because he's six foot five, 250 pounds. He's super young. His ceiling is still sky high, but being the leading tackler for the Buffalo Bills last season and in previous seasons, the Buffalo Bills may be better without him. And I want to discuss exactly why that is. And a couple reasons is because there are a few replacements out there that we could get cheaper and potentially have more of an impact on this team. And what do I mean by impact? That sacks, pass deflections, uh, interceptions, stuffs, stuffed yards, everything, everything, total tackles, right? So we got to take a look at Tremaine Edmonds. His rookie year in 2018, Tremaine Edmonds did his best. He had two sacks, two forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries. He had two interceptions. He had 12 pass deflections, and he also had four stuffs in the stuffed yards. I want to key in. It was 12. Since that point, Tremaine Edmonds in 2019, 2020, and 21 statistically dropped dramatically, dramatically, even in overall total tackles. So looking at it, Tremaine Edmonds in 2019 only had one and a half sacks, no forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries, one interception. He only had nine pass deflections. Previous year, he had 12 uh, stuffs. He had a little bit more. He had 10 more stuffs six more than the, than the year before. Now, last year, I just want to get into last year because he actually had a little uptick in his play. But still, he peaked in pass coverage his rookie season. 2018, okay, his best season statistically for the Bills. Probably we're going to balance it with last year. Looking at it, 12 pass deflections in 2018. What did Tremaine Edmonds have in 2020? Only seven. Okay, how many interceptions? Tremaine Edmonds in 2018, he had two. 2020, he only had one, right? These are the things that we need to be taking a look at. Overall total tackles in, 2020, in 2018, Tremaine Edmonds had 121. In 2022, he only had 102. So there are some things and only one sack in 2022. The lack of forced fumbles, fumble recoveries, the lack of sacks, the lack of interceptions, only one interception last year. Man, you guys are going to say, well, come on, those stats aren't too bad. But the perfect the perfect example is Luke Keekley. We could take a look at Luke Keekley's first five seasons of his career and the impact that he had under Sean McDermott and the Carolina Panthers. Luke Keekley completely balled out. Just listen to the total tackles here. 164 total tackles. Tremaine Edmonds' highest total tackles he ever had with the Bills was 121 and only 102 last year. 2013, Luke Keekley had 156 total tackles. 2014, 153. And then in 2015, that would be the five-year mark. There's 118. So only, what, three less tackles than Tremaine Edmonds? 
It is crazy. And then you take a look at the total sacks, forced fumbles, fumble recoveries, the overall impact that Luke Heakley had on this defense in game. I think the proof is there that the Buffalo Bills are definitely missing a little bit from that middle linebacker position. The D line helps the linebackers, right? It allows the linebackers to be that sludge hammer in the middle of the field to run around and make plays. And sure enough, the Bills have had a pretty decent defensive line holding things up for these linebackers. I really believe Tremaine Edmonds is missing a little bit of speed to his game, and the proof is there when you take a look at pass coverage. Luke Keekley was totally dynamite in pass coverage. Just take a look, and also stuff yards, but pass deflections, right? Luke Keekley had 8, 7, 11, and 10, right? He was improving. Tremaine Edmonds was not improving. He was actually getting worse in pass coverage as his career has gone along, right? in total stuffs. Luke Keekley, I mean, he is definitely not as big as Tremaine Edmonds, but he has more stuffs and he has more stuff yards. And I think that's an important point to take a look at here are the stuffed yards, right? The tackles for loss and the impact that they're having. Luke Keekley, total stuffs, 11, 10, 8, and 8. Stuff yards, 30, 34, 14, and 16. Tremaine Edmonds, stuffs, right? 4, 10, 4, 10. Stuff yards, 12, 22, 10, 16, 11. Like that is not, not being impactful. It's not being impactful. So we get to the point here and the question arises like, okay, well, if we're not going to re-sign Tremaine Edmonds due to our cap situation, not having the money, maybe we do decide to do that transitional tag to try and determine a fair market value. I think someone is going to be willing to splurge for Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, maybe a team that doesn't require so much speed out of the middle linebacker position like the Buffalo Bills. Bills have the perfect replacement in the 2023 NFL Draft. I've mentioned this in my previous videos, but True Sanders from Arkansas is dynamite. He is absolutely dynamite. He's six foot five, the same height pretty much as Tremaine Edmonds, but he's 232 pounds. He's definitely faster and I believe a little bit better in pass coverage than Tremaine Edmonds, but we know. Sean McDermott, Leslie Frazier, we need guys, all-purpose linebackers that can blitz, that can rush the, the quarterback, that can do pass coverage, that is great against the run. And Drew Sanders had nine and a half sacks last season. He had three forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, one interception. This guy is dynamite. He is dynamite and clearly faster than Tremaine Edmonds. So I started doing a little bit of research on Drew Sanders here, and I wanted to see, is this kid going to be a good fit for the Buffalo Bills? Well, sure enough, Drew Sanders is from Texas, Denton, Texas, right? Those of you might not know, but Von Miller is from Dallas, okay? Denton is literally almost a suburb of Dallas, Okay, it is just north of Dallas. Drew Sanders learning from Von Miller growing up in the same hometown. I'm telling you, those Texas towns, it gets cold there. You know, January, February, it could get below freezing. You could definitely see snow. These aren't Florida boys. You know, so I'm thinking they're definitely going to like playing here in Buffalo. Drew Sanders is a perfect fit. He can learn from Von Miller. They grew up in the same freaking hometown. I think think I might be statistically moving on from Tremaine Edmonds. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy these style videos, let me know. If you don't, let me know too. I'm cool with that. Check you guys soon. Go Bills. Peace.